I think companies are becoming acutely aware of how important it is to make decisions on the back of data rather than gut instincts. I would say that you know, 10, 20 years ago, most decisions were made based on you know, intuition and gut instinct. And I think there have been some high profile case studies of both companies and also in popular culture of um, circumstances where people have done a lot better by making decisions based on data. So Moneyball being one with the Oakland Athletic, um, what Nate Silver has been able to do uh, in predicting the outcome of elections is another. And so I think these are very high profile case studies of how important data science and data scientists are. When you pair up a business analyst or a domain expert with a data scientist, you can actually, you know, you have the two parts that make it possible for you to answer questions on the basis of data. We manage a community of 85,000 elite data scientists and they're all measured based on, we rank them all on, based on objective criteria, so we have a really interesting map or view of what makes a great data scientist. So, interestingly, we're finding Eastern Europe is over overrepresented among the top ranks of our best data scientists. I think three of the top ten are born in, in the former Soviet Union. While computer scientists and statisticians are probably those who are trained most directly in the sort of things that a data scientist has to do, we find that electrical engineers and physicists tend to actually be stronger. Physicists and electrical engineers are very numerate and they can code, which are you know, two necessary conditions for being a great data scientist. But the other thing they've got is they're, they're very good at solving common sense problems. Um, you know, they're not too in love with one algorithm or another algorithm, um, but they're just much more focused on actually getting the problem solved.